and we back. Buckle in, ladies and gentlemen, because today we're simulated until someone has the greatest individual performance of all time. Some of y'all are already hip to this, but this is NBA Game Score. It was a formula created by John Hollinger, and you can find it on Basketball Reference. What it does is look at individual stats from every single game to determine what's a good game versus bad game. And Michael Jordan's 64.6 game score is the greatest regular season game of all time. In this game, MJ has 69 points, 18 rebounds, 6 assists, Four steals, a block, only two turnovers, turnovers, five fouls. The man shot so many free throws, and he hit majority of them. And according to the stat, this is the greatest individual game of all time. But after that, we got Kobe's 81-point game. We got Donovan Mitchell's 71-point game from this year. Kind of wild to see how many of these games happened this year between Donovan Mitchell 71, Damian Lillard 71, Luka Doncic game where he threw it against the class on the Knicks, got his own board, and went into overtime, and he ended up having... 60, 21, and 10, like, oh my God. Don't take for granted what we're seeing in the NBA right now because we're seeing some otherworldly stuff. Joel Embiid's game against the Jazz early this season is the 10th greatest game of all time. And I was thinking about this and thinking, well, we got four of the greatest individual performance of all time this season alone. So in 2K, it, it shouldn't take long, right, for somebody to break this record. Obviously, 2K is a lot different than real life, but the formula is so OD. And luckily, I don't have to do the math myself where I could just plug in. Let's say I, I went to the NBA. I had one point, which means that I would have had zero field goals, I guess. Let's say I attempted 21, and I made one free throw out of 21, four offensive rebounds, I mean, one offensive rebound, four defensive rebounds, uh, zero assists, because why would I pass the ball ever? But seven turnovers, my game score would have been a negative 21.5. So every single year, I'm going to determine what the best game of, of the year was, we're going to put in the formula, and until, you know what, the more I think about it, until someone hits 57.7 or above, the video will not end. So you have to have a top five performance in the history of basketball. And remember, uh, Damian Lillard's 70-point game, we, we have to do better than that in, in, in 2K simulation. 71 points is, is crazy. Now, I got a couple different tricks up my sleeve to kind of help this progression out, but we're not going to start using those until later in the video, I think. I, I'm going to give it a, a few years of like just normal stats and stuff. But I will say if we're 10 years down the line, oh, the first thing I'm definitely gonna do though, because I always have it be fun when we have this, where the draft class quality is up to 100. We're gonna let it go organically for at least three seasons before I start messing with some, some stuff. And really the messing with some stuff is just occasionally changing the rules a little bit to allow the games to be higher score. Because again, basically you have to put up like, <laughs> ridiculous stats. Now, based on the players we have in basketball right now, I think according to 2K, the people that have the highest chance of doing it is like Luka Doncic and Jason Tatum. I've seen those dudes go as far as averaging a 35 point, 40 point triple double. Well, Luka the triple double part, but I've seen Jason Tatum average 40 plus points in a season before. And if you're averaging 40 plus points, that means you had to have a couple games where you put up 60 something. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, so keep that in mind. We're basically just going to go every single season, simulate to the second to last day of the year, and go figure out who had the best performances and then use the formula. I also put fantasy draft because I think it warrants the most amount of variety, if that makes sense. Uh, where I've seen Luka be on a team with no other good players and his stats look better. I'm not saying I'm, I'm, not saying I'm wishing that for Luka because he's basically going through that right now. No disrespect, no disrespect. I mean, he got Kyrie, which don't count, but like... You know, Luke and him not in the playoffs right now. Either way, I'm talking too much. I'll see you at the end of the season. This video could go on for 40 seasons. I don't want to spend too much time in the first year. I'm an idiot, idiot and I went too far already. I, like, it's the first year, and I'm already messing up, but we can still look at it like this. The most points scored in a single game this season was Damian Lillard, 64. So all we got to do is find Damian Lillard, who also in that same game hit 14 threes. Uh-oh, Dame. If da what if Dame did in the... Nah, that's not going to be good enough. But what if he did do it in the first game? Ended up happening on December 14th, so let's see... On December 14th, the, yeah, the, these other stats ain't enough. I ain't even gonna put it into the formula. It just wasn't enough. There's no way this was uh, even close. 64 games, that's nothing, Dame. Now, we'll go look at some other players that have, like, the tendencies to do more. Like, Shays cannot... Maybe he didn't have 60, but he did have 53, 8, and 8. Unfortunately, that's still not enough. But, like, I will be doing that, too. LeBron won MVP, though. Um, and I'm sure he has some cool games, but... Again, with the, the leading score as far as the season goes on one game being 64, I know 64 is not enough for it to be that high. What about like a crazy rebound in the game? Joel Embiid had an 18 board game October 22nd, so we could kind of look at that for Joel Embiid. But again, I don't think 
that October 22nd was like the first day of the season, basically, would be enough to crack the top five games of all time. Yeah, he had, he had 30 and 18. That's not good enough. All right, so year one is a complete wash. Second day of the season, Luka had 58, but the rest of the stats weren't there. So that was, that was also somewhat close. But that's it. I looked through everybody else. I'm not going to show you me looking at everybody. Just trust me, okay? Just trust me. I don't want the video to end early, but I think it would be cool if this video ended in year number two. So I'm looking at every potential can potential candidate, and uh, yeah, year one didn't happen. Also, while we're here and going through these things, I do want to let y'all know. Oh, LeBron trying to retire. Get out of here. Chris Paul trying to retire. Get out of here. Kalari, you ain't. That's good. But if you close to an 80 or 80 above, I'm just going to tell you not to retire. Uh, because that means you can still contribute. I did just hire my boy Jonathan, and part of Jonathan's job is to go through the comment section and stuff like that and find cool ideas. So if you have any cool ideas that I've been overlooking, just comment down below when Johnny is down. Johnny? I, ain't, I don't even know if I could call him Johnny yet. And Jonathan's going to be down there, and he's going to be uh, looking through stuff. So uh, we just add new people to the team, man, to try to make things better because I know y'all got some fire ideas out there. I didn't look to see what this what this um, draft class was like. Remember, I put the draft class quality quality. All the way up to 100. I'm also looking through teams to try to figure out who's by themselves. Um, Luca got a nice little, little squad around him. Now they all defend and stuff, so maybe Luca can do it. But like that player that ends up on the team by himself is gonna be the one to break the record. Trust me. And it ain't. I don't think it's happening this season. So instead of going to the end of the year and messing it up this time, I'm gonna go to the second to last day of year number two. And yeah, see see if anybody's even close. Ladies and gentlemen, I need y'all to lock in because Luka Doncic had a game where he scored 62 points this season. He also had a game where he hit 16 threes. So, so those are different games. But boy, he is. All right, let's go find Luka. I didn't know what team Luka's playing for. We should just watch Luka. I think he's on the Spurs, actually. We should just watch Luka because if anybody's going to do it, it will be him, right? Here we go. He's a 99 overall. November 22nd, he has 62 points. All the way towards the beginning of the season, he has 62 points. So let's see what that stat line looked like. 62, 12, 9, 2, and 1. He had 10 threes. I'm going to put this in. I don't think it's going to be good enough, but I'm going to put the formula in to figure out. Yo, the two turnovers. It's 62.5. Bro, We br the video's over. The, this 62.5 would be the third greatest game in NBA history. We just saw it. And year two, oh yeah, now we got to keep going to this number one. I didn't think it was going to be that simple. But now that we're here, this is, the, what? And now this got me questioning myself on whether or not this calculator is doing it right. So I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in Michael Jordan's one in this calculator. And we if it come up with the same score, then it's done. Luca did it in year, in year two. It's the exact same. Six, I put in his stats, 64.6 and 64.6. .6. So it's telling me. That the game that Luca had in this random November game, this one right here is the is the third greatest game in the history of basketball. And it happened in year two. I, I want to see that other game where he hit six. He had a game where he hit 16 threes. That might be the best game. I don't know what the rest of his stats look like. Where is that game? Or did I misread that? I might have misread that now that I'm here. Yeah, because 16 threes sound like ridiculous. But no, it says right here. Uh, March 13th. March 13th, he hit that many threes. Let's see. Oh, my God. Yo, this is this game's going to be the greatest game of all time. I already see it. I already see it. I already see it. I'm going to put the numbers in. <laughs> I'm going to put the numbers in, y'all. And this video might be completely over. Luca's doing that. Ooh, but you know what? He only had three free throw attempts. And that might hurt him. I, I, I know that sounds stupid, but it, it is a fact. That might hurt him. And zero blocks. Mm, only nine assists. Mm, I don't know, man. And the five turnovers. Yeah. Yeah, this is not going to be the greatest game. It was only 50.1, which again, is still ridiculous, but it's not one of the top five uh, games of all time, even though this man... Oh, you know what? Three-pointers aren't weighted, aren't weighted differently. I thought they had a different weight to it. That's free throws. So you know what? It's got to be a game where he had... Or not. maybe it's not Luka, but somebody hit a ton of free throws in a game. Why is it going to be like Joel? Um, uh, Colin Sexton had an 18 free throw game. I ain't even looking at it. I already, I ain't trying to see that. Anthony Davis had a 25 rebound game. Maybe we could go, go look at that for AD. At this point, it's just kind of cool to use the formula to see 2K simulation games. So he ended up having 25 boards on October 15th. Everybody's having these crazy games the first week of the season, first month of the season. And, uh, yeah, he had 22, 25, 3, 2, and 4. Only four free throws, but 12 offensive. No, no, this game, if only he had more points. I'm going to put it in, but this game is low-key insane. The more I look at it, the more I realize that those uh, lack of free throws and everything is really going to sell him. 
Uh, so I'm just, again, I'm doing it, but I I ain't feeling good about it. This week, old game, 29.5. That don't even register. That's a normal game for some people. That wouldn't even be one of the top 100 games of all time. I don't even know why I put that in. He had 20 points, Kenny. What are you talking about? All right, what about blocks? Who had the most blocks in a single game this season? Because those are weighted pretty good. Um, Mark, Mark Williams is not doing anything. Okay, well, at least we know that Luka had the third greatest game in the history of basketball in the year 2024. He's just and he won MVP too. I, I mean that that definitely makes sense. He was really, 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 really good. Uh, but I want to keep simulating. I want to try to get to number one. Now that we know that getting top three for Luca is not a problem, I wonder if there's gonna be anybody out there that, is, that gets number one because that's what I care about now. Third individual, third best individual game in history, regular season and Finals MVP, and he made an All Defensive First Team. I'm just letting you know that. So. Um, what what a, what a season for Luka Doncic? That might go down as the greatest individual season of all time. Nah, but it might be up there. Not number one, but it's up there. Tyler Hero had the best individual scoring game of the season when he put up 58. Do we do we look at Tyler Hero and say, hey, Hero, did you have one of the greatest individual performances? That was on, in November. Again, every one of the greatest games in ball happens in that first month or so. 58, six, four, and two steals. No offensive boards. That's not gonna do it. I'm already knowing. I ain't even gotta put it in there. So no. So nobody really came close. It looks like I'm gonna go through everybody. Um, that you know I will go through Lucas catalog again because I will be crazy not to. He had a 22 assist game. Hold on. Tyrese Halliburton had a 25 assist game. Okay, let's look at Lucas 22 and then look for Tyrese's 25. His 22 was just a 2020 game. I mean, it's, it's rare in the NBA, but it's not nothing crazy. That 25 assist game from Tyrese Halliburton is something we don't see often. But he only had seven points. So, seven, seven steals? Bro, if he would have put a 20 points with 25 assists, seven steals, he would be in conversations. But he had a terrible shoot tonight, so that's not going to do it. Uh, yeah, I think this year's kind of a wash. I think this year might be a wash. Nobody had a legendarily ridiculous performance. Joel had a 51-point game. We can look at that. But, yeah... I mean, I, I don't, I don't think it's gonna be nothing too crazy unless he paired that with um, seven blocks or something. Which again, he didn't lead, so I don't think he did it. Yeah, nah, it's 5 51, nine and five. But again, I go through everybody, every player, so I'm gonna give everybody benefit of the doubt this season, and we'll see if anybody comes close. I think after this season, this is where we start messing with the the league settings. I'm gonna make the pace faster by lowering the shot clock. Tatum's 57. Yeah, that's not that's not good enough. Jokic 44 is something I normally wouldn't look for, but a Jokic 44 could have, uh, I was going to say 10 assists and 20 rebounds. It didn't. All right, so yeah, this year is a wash. Nobody did nothing spe super spectacular. Luka won MVP again. Harden is now the sixth man in Portland. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we going to change the, the, I think, shot clock going to 20. I think that's the low as it goes. And that's, that four extra seconds matters a lot when we come to putting up extra stats. Like, we're going to regularly see people put up 160 points in a game, I think, just by that one singular change, I think. I mean, I don't know. I haven't experimented enough to, to tell you for sure, for sure. Mobley versus Cunningham in the finals. That's kind of fun for that draft class, and Cunningham won in seven. And decrease it to 20 seconds. Yep. Uh, is there anything else that will increase the pace? I'm going to let people come in at 18 years old. It don't help our video at all. Uh, but you never know. Somebody might come in as LeBron James Jr. This game ended 190 to 53. K. Cunningham, there's two players on the same team that almost put a 50. And Luka had a 50-point triple-double. Oh, 100% is being broken this year. The greatest game in the history of basketball is happening this year. Mark my words. Luka and them just gave up 190 points. That's That happened. That happened, y'all. They just won 180 to 118. This is the year. <laughs> of course, it's less valuable. You know, what? the reason Michael Jordan won is so impressive because it was in the 90s where the pace is ridiculously low. So, yeah, we got three top 10 performances of all time, but we also have, like, a lot of statistical ridiculous things happening this year specifically because of a lot of different factors. Um, and, boy, just extra four seconds per, per possession is going a very, very long way where 175 feels like a normal day in the office. Who needs defense? Who needs it? Nobody. Well, everybody needs it, but nobody, but whatever. Here's the moment of truth. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> he had a 37-20 game. The most, Tyler Hero scored 77. Oh my God. Tyler Hero scored 77. I I am starting there. I am starting with Tyler Hero, not even Luka Doncic. I am starting off with Tyler Hero's 77-point game. 
Are you kidding? What did you even average on the year, Hero? He averaged for he averaged 47. Oh, look at his splits! 50, 42, 98 splits. He averaged 47 points per game. He's not even a 90 over. I cannot believe this. Okay, we've gone too close to the sun. Um, that game was March 15th. Let's go look at March 15th and and see how the heck he did. I mean, the the, the rest of the stats kind of me, ain't they? We put it into the to the to the thing for sure, but. And then we go little stats. 77 is carrying. The 77 is carrying. That week all 77 point game is a game score of 60, which would have been the fifth greatest of all time. Um, and I bet he has individual games that are probably better because he put up more of the surrounding stats. Like this game is better than a 77 because he got 12 rebounds and seven assists. Okay, the Tyler Hero lead the league in scoring though. That's because I mean he averaged 47. Um, nope. Because Trey Young averaged 50 and 11. Trey Young averaged. All right, what's what was Trey Young's best game then? 70. He also had the 71. <laughs> 71 and 15 and 8 is pretty good. Um, yeah, I, I'll put I'll put that in. I'll put the, yeah. We waiting to see if somebody can beat Michael Jordan, and so far no. But yeah, this is the year. I can tell you this is the last year of the video because if it ain't one of these dudes, we're just going to write over to Luka Doncic again and Luka Doncic is going to have the answers because he was that dominant. Spoiler alert, Tyler Hero 77 was more impressive than the 71-15 game. Why don't you look at that? Uh, wait, who had the most assists in a single game? Because that could go a long way too. The most assists in a single game was 25 by De'Aaron Fox. Uh, Jakob had an eight block game and then Ben Simmons had an eight steal game. Now, we didn't do anything to make it better for blocks and steals. Overall re rebounds, there's a dude named Jay Jabot in the league. It's, he's got to be like a year two player. He had a 27 board game. 27. Where's he at? Where's Mr. Jabot at? Oh, he was, there he is. He averaged uh, 14 and 13 with about two blocks. He, he's, he could have a candidacy, but he only had 31. 31 was his career high, so never mind. Never mind. Um, it's your shot, Tennessee, up, bud. You could be out here breaking records too, but nope. You want to do some other stuff. All right. So Luca 100% did it because this this was his average. 50, almost 50, 13 and 13. Yeah, we rounding up. So now we just got to find the game that was the game because you know it happened. His season high was 71. So let's go find that 71 point game to start off with and we'll, we'll go off from there. 71, 14, 12, four steals, one block. Perfect from the free throw line, 100%. It's wrapped. It's wrapped. It's wrapped. Let me put the let me put the numbers in real quick. But it's 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 wrapped, man. It is wrapped. This is the greatest individual game of all time. I do want to add this game. His plus minus was plus 50. And, and, oh, they won by 50. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, jump roll, please. The greatest individual game in the history of basketball was Luka Doncic's 71-14-12-4 game versus the Memphis Grizzlies. And not only did he beat the MJ record, he demolished it. And you know what? This game is probably demolishing the MJ record too. And he probably has the top five games in NBA history this season. A 61-18-2 What is his highest steal game? This one. Because the steals are weighted differently, y'all. So you have five steals in this one on top of 57, 19, and 16. That's going to go a long way. Um, so there you have it, folks. Seven steals. Oh, the rest of the stats don't matter. Um, ten turnovers? Man, and you still won this game. Um, we had a season where Tyler here. We had six players average over 40. Tyler Hero was one of them. Garland was one of them. Jokic, we got aggressive Jokic for a full season. He averaged a 40-point triple-double. This game might be on the list, a 61, 15, and 12 game. For this game, 64, 18, and 6, 2, and 2. I was waiting for the 2020, 20 games, and I haven't seen anybody that have one. So shout out to Russell Westbrook, because he was he did that. He did that in real life. I do want to find that 25 assist game from De'Aaron. Oh my God, look at all those red L's. They were, they were bad. Uh, where's that 25 assist game and what the what the rest of them stats are like 30 all oh, two boards De'Aaron Two boards like you had the potential but only grabbing two boards is is crazy But there's 26 19 assists 10 rebounds six steal games pretty good. That's that's pretty good Jimmy Butler averaged three steals. So let's go find his highest steal game um, This 37 13 and four game is pretty good pretty good 
or how about the 29 point triple double with, with six steals or the 36 point triple double I'm putting this one in. I'm putting this one in. I know it's only 36 points, but I know it's not going to be number one or anything. But I'm curious to what this game would be in this uh, fake world. Because obviously, everything we're doing right now is in this fake world. Because how the heck did that man average 50? Tyler, Tyler Hero let... Man, I still... That is that is ridiculous to me. Only three free throw attempts. That's not like Jimmy Butler. But y'all said eight offensive boards. Okay, Jimmy. Okay, Jimmy. It's a really good game. It's, it's about 48, um, which would be top 50, but not anything higher than that. Okay. Well, I appreciate you watching. If you did, ooh, three pointers made. Trey Young made seven three pointers per. That's OD, bro. Seven three pointers per game. The most made threes. Tyler Hero had a 17 three. All right. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Uh, we simulated until somebody broke MJ's record. And well, it, it only took two seasons because Luka Doncic is a sim god. Um, I'll see y'all tomorrow.